Shouting people, we're in a park with Tommy V, just a real Tommy V, putting the shades down, man. We're in Wester Park, it's just a park yeah, and some like water and shit. We had a beautiful little picnic. <laughs> and uh, we're just spending 48 hours in Amsterdam, just <laughs> chilling and then going to something called Woodstock tomorrow, which is just a festival kind of vibe and just. Full of pedos. Full of pedos, on, apparently. <laughs> I just ruined the clip, but I'm putting it in anyway, so it's sound um, <laughs> like Alright, I'll like tell you who it was anyway. <laughs> Ab shot. So, the fellas, party time is upon us. So, today I am going with Funky Shirt. As usual, because this one didn't get a run out in Ibiza. So, you gotta give it some air, man, and gauge the reaction. I think it's gonna be fucking rude. I may take the camera with me, or I may switch to GoPro. Either way, I'll take you. Let's do it. Manchester after a naughty couple of days in Amsterdam. It was great. I felt kind of rough this morning because I actually drank a bit the other day, last night. I don't usually drink that much, but I don't know why. I, just, I was drinking, man. Beers are actually cheap there. Anyway, this is my physique right now. This is what I look like. I've absolutely fucked it in terms of uh, food as well when I was over there. But I feel like I got away with it, man. I don't know. Anyway, that's the update, man. We're back in Manchester. That's it. My ears fucking sick, mate. Update number two of the day. I think I'm gonna keep cutting. So physique-wise, we got quite lean before I beat her. We're still one sec. We're still nowhere near as lean 
as I think I could actually get. Uh, and I, I just don't feel like bulking at the moment. Uh, I think that a lot of times you have to just flow with what you're feeling. You know what I mean? Especially when you're in my boat, you've been lifting a long time. You know, it's not ideal to force yourself to do anything. Right. If I try and bulk, I'm mentally, I'm not committed. It's probably going to be less successful than if I was enthusiastic about it. So what I'm going to do is just get fucking stupid lean again. Obviously, after I'd be third, and then it was out of that shit's not great for your physique, man. You know, you recomp backwards, don't you? You lose fat. No, you lose muscle and gain fat. And also, after it, you know, it's inevitable that you're going to crash a bit on your diet. And by that, I mean fucking eat ridiculous amounts of shit for the week following your return. So, obviously, I'm not as lean now as I was. Uh, during Ivy and before it. So I'm gonna just restart the cut again, man. Nothing crazy, but just steady. Just get lean. Probably no. Not like. Fuck about lean. Like I'm gonna get leaner than I was before Ivy there. Just because I feel like it wasn't that hard, man. I feel like I just. I just. I feel like I'm quite good at getting lean. It's not too strenuous, man. And I like, I like, I just like the look of just silly fucking pictures, man. I've like been able to be in any, be in any pose, and you still look fucking shredded, mate. So, that's the plan. That's a long update. I'm picking all the good bits out of the muesli. Update number three of the day. The protein bar is pretty nice. Put some empty boxes back on the shelf, man. Update number four. Put some Nikes, man. Put some gym trainers for the gym. I figure I'm gonna like running stuff in them. Do you know what I mean? Well, no, they're not really running trainers, but. I'm in that wacky hungover state when you feel a bit weird, mate. I feel like it's sick though, sometimes you feel so tired that honestly you think that it kind of free, kind of breaks down some barriers in your mind, man. Like, I feel like I think more freely when I'm tired. Um, I think that's all the updates for the day, man. I like Carlos Valderrama. Update number five of the day. Mike's seen a plant in the hallway. And we think that it might be up for grabs. We think that it might. Do you think it's just a plant, an abandoned plant? I don't know if it's an abandoned plant or if it belongs to the building. I don't think the building, like, you know staff I mean? have put it there because it's in front of another plant and it's just a shit place to put a plant if you were, if it was planted there. Like, Let's get the plant. We just have it, mate. Mm, no. Ah, oh, no, it's, I think it's dying, man. Mm, or does it know. just need watering, mate? Maybe it does. Nah, trees don't die that fast, do they? I feel like trees like draw a rabbit and rehabilitate it. Right, update number five of the day, we've got a plant. Fuck, jeez. Oh, oh slag. Hold on. Alright. Most of it gets soaked up by the tree. Yeah, goes in here though, mate. I think it looks sick. Well, I don't know, but we're going to have to rehouse the plumbing guy. Oh, baby, I'm couch might be good. That's what I thought, man. Oh, Let's see what it looks like anyway. Most of the water you can Oh, that looks a fucking belter, mate. That was sick, man. Call it fucking Steve, mate. Alright, people, it's motherfucking supplement time. I'm making together my jug of goodness. Because we're going to go to the gym. So, what I'm doing is putting in some creatine. Because I've just missed two days because I went to them. So, now obviously I've lost all the gains and need to get them back. I'm putting in some beta alanine. Don't ask me why it's in a bag like that. It's just, you know, it's just in a suspect bag. Yeah, this is a shit clip on. <laughs> <There's a bit. laughs> How shit are you chewing me? Side note, I actually got a bulk powder discount code. I just don't push it that much because... 
It's in the description. If you want, if you want. I need ice. I'm what, mate? I'm what, mate? Come at me. Come at me then. I just staunched you out. You just got staunched out. Suck it. Oh, <laughs> what is my hair, man? All right, so it actually turned into a beautiful little fucking evening, man. And I did not plan on going to the gym because this morning when I woke up, I felt like a shoe. But actually, as the day has gone by, I feel pretty fine, to be honest. And so I've no excuse not to go and do some exercise. So what I'm going to do, what I usually do, if I've like been out the night before or something like that, yeah, I'll either not go to the gym, or if I do go, it will just not, it'll just be a fuck about workout, you know, I just want to burn some cows, do some lifts, do a bit of stretching, a bit of cardio maybe, um, and nothing major, I'm not going to count it towards, I'm not going to do a full actual day of my program, or, you know, if, if you were just following a split then, it wouldn't be ideal to just like, call it your push day, whatever, because if you think about it, Going in and doing a half arse to work out and then not doing another push day until the next, you know, until you get back around to it. It's probably worse than just leaving it a day and doing a good push workout, you know what I mean? If you think about the total time before you actually do a worthwhile push workout, it's better to just leave it another day, do you know what I mean? And it's it when you feel 100% again. So. We're gonna go gym. Yes, people, talk to me. The real Joey D is checking in to do a little bit of a commentary over this workout. So I was actually just looking back at a few of the clips in this vlog and I thought, hey Joe, you're weird, man. Stop being stop being a strange guy and start being normal again. Uh, I think the, the tiredness was real and I was just being like abstract, man. But I feel like being weird's all right once in a while, as long as you do actually start being normal again at some point. So that's what I'm going to do now. Anyway, let's get into the workout. Essentially, this was a upper body high rep compound day slash bro day. So like I said in the previous clip, it was never going to actually count towards uh, my program because I knew that in the state that I was in, you know, sleep deprived slash a little bit hungover, I was never going to be able to do that workout at 100% and actually, you know, get anywhere close to the weights that I had logged from the week before. So this actually should have been a leg day. But what I did instead of doing a half arse leg day was just postpone it till the next day. Uh, and with that in mind, I didn't do any legs on this day and I just did all upper body compounds, as I said. So the aim essentially was just to burn some calories and also just activate those muscle groups that wouldn't be get wouldn't be getting hit for another you know day or two days depending on whether it was whether it was a push or pull um, and so I did a couple of presses I was doing five sets 12 on each essentially that, that's kind of irrelevant but a couple of presses and a horizontal row which you just saw that the pen lay rows last clip and after that just went on and did a little bit of abs because I feel like abs are always something that you know is at risk of being left out you know if you stick into a program you're doing cardio you're doing stretching and mobility work and foam rolling and you're doing abs you know there's something it's hard to have a week where you get around to everything and often there's something um, that gets left out and for me abs is that thing more often than not so I'll try and get to abs twice a week but often I only end up actually doing abs once a week. Um, and so if I have any days that are just off my schedule or I have the chance to do abs, I will get to them uh, in anticipation of uh, weeks that I may skip them. So just did some weighted crunches on this bench and then turned around and did some reverse crunches. They look a bit like leg raises, but actually reverse crunches. Um, I'm focusing on, on crunching the abs up rather than keeping my torso fixed and, and just uh, bringing the legs up and down, which is a lot more hip flexor focused than ab focused. So after this, I uh, just moved on to a little bit of cardio and then just 
uh, some head slash handstands because I think being upside down is cool. So here's the rest of the video. See you in a bit. I'm gonna be able to do headstands one day. I mean, handstands. Kills your shoulders, man. I'm shocked. It is a beautiful. Motherfucking day, peeps. I'm putting bars in the fridge. Alright people, listen right. If you YouTube, you may know this feel. Right now I'm undergoing a very... A rough feel, man. Because I just recorded a clip. Mags brought a protein bar around. And when I try and eat protein bars, I do a little protein bar review show. Which is exactly what it says in the tin, basically. I review a protein bar. I basically bite it and go, that's nice or that's shit. That's the, that's the scale of the review, man. That's how in depth we go. It's no like, you know, star system or anything. Um, and anyway, I recorded the whole clip. It was, it was very, it was, it was great content on it. It was, it, it was funny. Mags was absolutely on fire. <laughs> she was on form, man. Like, just laughing <laughs> in it. Just bringing the lols in strong. And then I, I looked behind the camera and the microphone was switched off, so. I fucked it up. <clears throat> oh, you brought the bueno back. I also yeah. tried uh, tried this. Coconut bueno. Naughty, mate. Silly. Anyway, luckily, Mags never just brings one protein bar. She always brings at least two. She's a great bird. <laughs> <sighs> Didn't say it right, babe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. This is blueberry almond dark chocolate. And the macros are solid. 142 calories per bar. Not that solid, actually. 5.8 fat, 9.6 carbs, and 13 protein. I always look for a good protein to fat ratio. Do you know what I mean? If you're getting like half the fat to the protein, it's less than ideal, mate. That's how you end up not looking lean and thick and solid and tight, like me and Mags. All right. Do you want to try it first? No. You always try it first, it's a tradition, man. It's better. Is it? Mm. It smells like blueberry. Blueberry. That's alright. Mate, it's still dry than the turtle's fucking ball bag. It is dry. Oh. Why are they all so dry, man? You know what I mean? Yeah. Are you chewing a turkey's neck, mate? That's how dry it is. <laughs> I know what you mean. Flavour wise. Um, I mean too many. Well, exactly. There you go. It can't be that fucking good. It's not that good. Thanks, though, again. <laughs> I appreciate you supplying the... Uh, protein bars. The protein bars. It's not that great, man. I'm going to eat it because I've opened it. It's dry. And it just tastes like perfume. I think a lot of the fruity ones taste like perfume. Yeah, because well, it's not I mean. real fruit, is it? Fake fruit. I'm on cutting cows and I've wasted a lot of cows and protein bars that I don't like. So I'm not happy. <laughs> you have to eat it. And turn the camera off and bin it. Bin it. <laughs> no, you can't bin protein bar. <laughs> Alright, let's move on anyway. Let's fuck this. Enjoy. I should eat it, man. No, don't eat it. 
a nice bit. I'm gonna try this bueno again. And I'm gonna emulate the feels that I, that I had last time. Oh, mate, fuck me. So, <clears throat> as you can see, it's beautiful. But it's not focusing, it's just focused on my head. I'm just gonna eat it. Wow, fucking great, man. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh. if that seemed faint, then it was a little bit, <laughs> but it is actually that tidy. It's great. Everyone should try it. What bueno? I'm eating plastic. Oh. <laughs> mm. fucking extra level in it. it. It's serious shit. It's like Raffaello for people who can't afford Raffaello. Except obviously we can't afford Raffaello. But we just get this to save money. Lat bottom bit's twatted. Just shovel it in. Are you out yeah, of that bit? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Are you I'm done, yeah? What? I just feel like you can't hit me with three quarters of a bueno. It's more than three quarters. Like calorie commitments. Yeah, but that's a twatted piece, isn't it? It is a twatted piece. That don't count as a full calorie. Alright, we're going to eat this bueno. We're going to divide it between us. Sort it out. We might have an argument about it. I'll see you in the next video. The peace sign for us. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> I think that was better than last time. <laughs> That's fucking dangerous, man. They see me rolling. They hating. Woo!